Good morning and happy new year. 2022, bloody hell. So, as you can tell, we're starting off strong. We're back at the A&E job. Right, five to four. Did not expect us to be doing it this long, but we've got all the insulation backed up. And that is a very productive afternoon. Eventually those headers are going to run through the headers on the house as well. Because like we keep saying, it's the main thing we're focusing on, to make sure it bonds right up here. Yeah, that's the important Got to make sure it looks nice up there. Yeah. That's just fancy pointing technique. Uh, just standard weather struck pointing. There you go, because have we, have we filmed any of this before, weather striking? Uh, I don't think we have. Yeah. So a bit of weather striking this time around, my first time doing it at least. It's not easy. No, especially with uh, bricks it and they drink the mortar up, they drink the water out the, the mortar. Yeah. Looking nice though, isn't it? It's coming along. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't think we showed this yet. So we've got some polythene on the plinth just to keep them nice and tidy. And then when we're done, just cut that off and repoint it. So all the plinth work underneath is still staying nice and uh, tidy. No matter, uh, even if the snots fall off. I'm out somewhere to go and get some more uh, bricks in. Look at that, up to G-Deck height now. English Bond is best when you take a step back and have a look at it as a whole. Like, look at that, bloody gorgeous Bond that is. And I, I keep saying this, but the mortar as well just complements the bricks so nicely. Really stands out, looks great. Snow Crete, bloody good stuff. And uh, all the uh, trestles and planks are gone from this part as well, so we can all walk past here, no problems, but it's looking great that. Flipping marvellous. It's nice to see something up, isn't it? Yeah. It's the first time doing this on such a big scale too. There we go. Tom's also getting our best angles again. It's our little clip gets our best angles. <laughs> Let's get something done then, shall we? Take two. Right, and good morning on uh, Friday the 17th. It's our last Friday here this year. Oh. We've stayed up until the Christmas break, which will be Wednesday. But uh, enough about that. Let's focus on the present. 
So today it's full steam ahead for as much as we can. Alex is already blazing ahead. Dad's got the mix ready. Neil's helping us with our cuts today. He's cutting our blocks for us since today we're on the block work. Good morning and happy new year. 2022. As you can tell, we're starting off strong. We're back at the A&E job. It's actually our second day, but um, first day wasn't really much to film, so I'll show you what we've done. We rearranged the G deck in it. We swapped all the big legs for smaller legs at the top and shifted the platforms up. So now we've got no, we've got no bits sticking up at the top now. So no, no, no trip has it. Morning, Liam. Morning, mate. Oh, excited for the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now we've swapped the legs and got the platforms up, there's no more trip hazards. With Tony's help, the four of us got that roof yeah, back up. We've strapped it down, we're going to pin it in. So that shouldn't be going anywhere, but we'll make sure to keep an eye on that in the wind. And <coughs> we head up. So what we're doing right now is we're moving the ladder inside. So the Tony tent can now fit in and we can keep the pillars safe then. Safe from the rain, safe from the weather. Ladders going up. They've got the straps in now. Gates in, all that stuff. And there we go. Tents are up. We are weatherproof once again. So weather's getting a bit warmer as well, so we should be able to get a mix in now and uh, get cracking. I think we're maybe starting on them pillars since we've covered up, so let's get it. Just give you a quick look from the top of the G deck now to see how much better it is. Now, I don't know if you saw last time, but obviously all the uh, all the legs were like up to here, all the way across. So now we've uh, got rid of that. It's nice and smooth. Um, also, uh, John, give us he gave us a hand, Alex, a hand, getting all this set up. So now we're braced against here. Alex was also getting ceiling level. So now we know where we're working to. Now where our pad stones are gonna go and everything, so. It was a, it was a bit of a, bit of a fiddly day, but one of them necessary days, you know, to uh, get everything sorted for, for today. And then here's a better look at weatherproof ceiling. All, uh, all bonded in. We're gonna pin it down as well, eventually, once we get the air uh, pins up here. And uh, I think, yeah. So I'm just gonna bring some block down now. And we're gonna get four courses of block up on those pillars. Yeah. So we've got two pillars ready. Just take you to this side. There we go, all set up. We can only go four up at the moment because it is very, very wobbly. So we've got it propped up with the uh, level for now. And we're gonna wait for that to go off for a bit. Then we can get the insulation going in, tape it up just like over there. Then we can get some brickwork to back it up. Don't know when that's gonna be, but that's the plan with these pillars. So, uh, what's the next plan, Dad? Get the insulation on. Right, so. Yeah. So we're gonna get on pad stone height after the break. So as you can see, Ollie's kindly cut us our, our insulation pieces to fit. So after break, we'll get these all taped up, get the UFOs put on, and then we can get up to pad stone height then. And then even maybe get some bricks running for break or lunch. For lunch, sorry. So uh, that's the battle plan. We'll uh, catch you after break. And I've nearly got the cuts done. The 175 cuts, enough for one course on here, which is these. I'm just doing it with our saw, leave Liam on the, doing the bricks, just keep pushing things along. Alex is going to get us another pack of block, and then my Alex is going to jump up here with me in a minute and get these two, two courses whacked on.
Right, five to four. Did not expect us to be doing it this long, but we've got all the insulation backed up now. Got the insulation backed on, we've got the flying saucers on, and it's all taped up, so we're definitely ready to just blast this out tomorrow. Lean's been cutting our bricks and passing them up for us, so we're all loaded out for a good for a good start at least. Yeah, I'll take this break time, hopefully, and then we can carry on just keep it supplied. Yeah. So it'll just be me and there you go, good morning. Um, it's Thursday the 6th of January. Back at work. Unfortunately, it's minus one. So, as you can see, glistening in the lights is the saw up the top. We've got a roof over that now. We've got a canopy over here for the pillars. Scaffolds have been lifted. Pad stones up there now. So, we're getting a big. A big diesel heater apparently, and it's coming in here to beat the heat, beat the cold. Yeah, <laughs> no, it won't keep you warm there, will it? <laughs> you could do the little one. Yeah, so um, it's going here somewhere. It's got two exhausts, one's going into the house and one's going in here. Obviously we've got the tent up for our pillars, we've got the roof up for that side. So we've got this side to go on with, we've got the front to go on with, so we can more or less level everything up to this. It's just three of us today, so we're just going to crack on, we're going to get this heat set up and then take it from there. Yeah, sorry, uh, if we could the, look, the ultimate frost protection. Oh yeah, we'll take the first 10 minutes. Exhaust into the house, and we're getting one on this side. So. If you've seen EC, this is like ET, you've got tents up and hoses and vents and... Feels like it's a sci-fi movie, isn't it? Really? Yeah. So this is us today, oh. concentrating the pillars. <laughs> so we need to lift the sides up, obviously, to run the line through, but then everything drops down at the night, we're all frost protected. So, that's us. As soon as Lean gets our mix in, Oh, we need to get some bricks loaded out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to do the tent. Yeah, we've got, we've got the ice on there. Yeah. yeah. So we've got. Um, we need some bricks to sort out as well. We need to load the headers and stretchers. Well, while he's doing the mix now, we can start getting some uh, bricks. Yeah. Get some bricks cool. In there. I feel the heat already. There's our. There's our heater. And there we go, brickwork set on both the pillars. Oh, it certainly makes for a nice job. It's a bit fiddly with all the cuts, but no, you can't go wrong with English Bond. So, and as you can see, we've got next lift of block ready. So tomorrow will be the same as today. Dad's gonna get the insulation cut now, since we've got a bit of time. Get this cut and ready for tomorrow. We'll get it taped up tomorrow once all the, uh, the block work's gone off a bit. Tape it up, get our UFOs put on, and then we can uh, get more brick on but for now. That's us done for today. Very fiddly day today, but certainly uh, satisfying to look at. All right, we will see you tomorrow. Good morning on this very brisk Tuesday. Brisk and wet. And wet, yeah. And still dark at the moment. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? No. We've got our lights. We have the tent. Lights. And when we're finished on these pillars, which we're gonna be concentrating on this morning, up to about here, we can't go too high because I've got to get the tape on the insulation. So about there, mind you, we don't want to go too high anyway, we want to see what we're doing. We can move on onto this side, which has a full-on roof on it. This is the chalet end. 
So um, yeah, we've got to um, get this insulated, get a couple more tires screwed in. Liam's going to get a mix thrown in and we're going to get this face work up. So there we go. Good morning. We are back on it, back in the villa. It is, a, it is another freezer today, so we're going to be delayed on the brickwork again. All because of this bloody weather, but um, we're going to keep ourselves busy else how. So the task for today, until the weather gets a bit better, is we're going to get these pillars propped up, get them braced, which I'll take you to come and uh, have a look at in a second. So once they're propped up, then pillars will be nice and uh, secure. Give my, give me some peace of mind, because it's so anxiety inducing watching them wobble. But anyway, then after that, I think we're going to make a start taking down the blocks for the double door for the kitchen, I believe it is. Either way, we're going to get ready for the uh, steel job there. The wall starters are in there ready. We just need to get the block work down, get it propped, get the steel in when that arrives and get cracking. So, and then hopefully it's meant to get a bit warmer at lunchtime-ish. So we're just gonna make ourselves busy till lunchtime. Then we can hopefully get cracking on getting them pad stones in. We're all set out. My dad's cut the, cut the block work ready for the pad stones to go in. I've made a hole in the brickwork to get them two pad stones in. So we should be ready to get going once the weather gets better. This damn weather is what we're waiting on. So I'll uh, get you over there and show you what we're doing with these pillars. And just really quick as well, I'm not sure if we've shown this on the video yet, but very kindly had these sent to us from Rhino Build. So thank you very much for these, Rhino. These are going to come in really handy. We can really get some good use out of these, so... Big thanks to Rhino Build. <coughs> Save ourselves a copyright. So I'll just get this set up here. Can you explain how we're propping these pillars, Dad? Doing what we're doing. Oh. I'm sort of winging it. And there we have it, pillars are braced, both of them. And uh, if you look here, nice and solid. They won't shake as much anymore, thank God. So obviously we've braced them up here, got a brace along there, and then that's screwed in there and at the bottom as well. It's actually screwed into the, uh, into the beam work, so that ain't moving. So, they're nice and secure until we get them up and ready. And there's our lintels. He said the HD lintels these, didn't he, Dad? Pardon? He said these are HD ones, aren't they? They're upgrading the heavy duty ones, yeah. Yeah, so these are upgraded heavy duty uh, lintels. So they're going to be excellent for supporting the weight that's going to be on top of these pillars. So. Now we're going to make ourselves busy inside because it is still absolutely freezing. My toes have gone. So let's get inside and do some work. So at the moment we're in here, this doorway is going to be reduced slightly and the rest of it's going to be opened up so you're going to have double doors in the centre of the room. 
So as you've just saw in that time lapse, Brian's been busy getting his little door set up. So that's gonna make life a whole lot easier for everybody. It's gonna stop all the noise in the morning. It's gonna, not, we're not carrying this thing around up and, up and about the place. We don't have to uh, bolt it back up and like unbolt it in the morning. It's just a case of open and close. So gonna get some locks and such. Makes life easier. May as well, right? So now it means that it's gonna be getting customs and town, so we're gonna do that instead of sale. That is what I heard. Battery died halfway through our filming, but there we are. Pad stones are up, and oh my god, were they heavy, Dad? Yes. They were heavy. Easily about 50 kilograms, weren't they? Easily getting there at least, but they're up, and so Dad's just going to join up now. I'm going to finish tidying up. We're gonna get them hessian tonight so they don't get damaged or frosted. But we've done it. They're up on there as well. Not just them pillars, all four are up for this side. So when we when we assign ourselves a mission. Yeah. So. So. Same as always, we're gonna go inside and do what we can inside for a bit. I've just I've just put the block up. So the plumber came today and fixed the pipe. So I've just put the block up around it so it's all ready. So tomorrow we'll get that pointed up and patched up properly. And then we can start on the uh, the double doors. And then when the weather comes up a bit, try and get these brick in back up then. Right, so let's get this hessian over which pick back. Let's get hessian over and let's get back. So, and the big push today will be we'll be getting the brickwork up on these pillars. Blocks have had a whole weekend to dry off. Pad stones are nice and set, they've had a full weekend to go, go off. It's so. three degrees already, so it's the warmest we've had it all January. So I'll get you set up while we do all this on time lapse and yeah, keep you updated as we go along. Next step should be getting all that backed up. As I said before, brought a pack there and some loose bits. Uh, the tape should be somewhere as well, so it's just a case of getting started. We'll get the saw in a minute, get all that cut, get it cleaned up, and then we'll get the insulation popped in. This one's for you, Dad, just for you. It's bloody left for me again. <laughs> you can see we can cut brick today, I've got to do some brick work, so. You're on thin ice. Hmm.
Right, and that is both of the pillars insulated up, ready for the bricks to go on now. I think Al's just getting the profiles. We've got our mix ready. So, just a case of getting set up and cracking on. Yeah, Dad's going off to Tony to uh, London to see Charlie Parkinson for reasons. Hopefully by the time this video's out, you'll know why. But yeah, so it's just me and Al today, so we'll get cracking the best we can. And there it is. They're finished. The pillars are up to level height. Oh my god, finally. I mean, Alex has been saying it's such a relief. It's one of them. Oh my god. I've done it. Moments. Just to show you now. There you go. Oh, 10 foot of a English bond. So. Now that we've got that done, thank God, our next task for the day was to get stuff sorted and maybe get a coarser block in there, catch them pad stones, and just uh, give us something to do for the end of the day, but I can't believe we've done this. We've done the pillars. I've managed to do the pillars, <laughs> along with Alex, of course, but that one's mine. And obviously we've got them hessined up, so they're going to be nice and frost-proof. Whenever the weather goes nice tomorrow, we've got these lintels on. So obviously, now that they're up, it's a little bit shaky, so... Tomorrow, we'll be securing the pillars, hopefully. So, uh, head over to Alex now, and get these blocking. Right, we're ready to get going. Mortars on, lines up. 
We're using the Fitz brick clamps, the absolute treasures. So we're just gonna get this run in. Get these uh, pad stones caught in with the blocks. I've got these saw somewhere, here it is. So we've got that ready to get our cuts in. It's a nice little end of the day pass. And that is a very productive afternoon. Today's just been one of the days where everything went right. Pillars are all covered up and we've just got two ports of block. Got the uh, pad stones nice and snug in. Don't mean to sound biased, but I think me and Alex have smashed it today. The brick lane with Alex and Alex special. But yeah, today has just been... Everything has gone right today. Oh yeah, and the G-decking's up as well. Did that this morning, Judex level ready for the brickwork over there. I was just giving it a brush now, but got that two two more courses up, and of course, pillars are ready for lintels tomorrow. So, we're in a really good place now. So, hopefully, we'll come up and keep this going. So, this is me signing off for today. Catch us in the next one. Club here. A quick, a quick look here. Oh. Just give you a quick look up here from a. Uh,
Right, so we're ready to get cracking. We've got the good old fashioned. No. Uh -huh. 